Everybody, welcome back to every part of the game of League of Legends. I'm the Strange Professor. Uh, okay, we missed XP on one minion, which sucks. Uh, means we're gonna hit level two first. But we're doing a little Nami here. I was first pick. I knew we were gonna have a Vayne. Nami historically is very good with Vayne. Helps Vayne stick to people. Heals her through tough lanes. Um, pretty like if you're gonna play something that's not Janna, that's an Enchanter into Assassin. She's one of the better ones because she can play pretty far back. Vayne did go Doran's shields, so I like that. I the free hits on. What's up, Mario? Give me the point. Oh, that's risky. Yeah, I wish I could record the chat for the VODs if people want, so that people could follow along in the chat. Um, but it only shows up on the live stream, not in the chats. It has to be separate comments in the VODs. And some people have said, well, why don't you help last hit under tower? There's no way I could help him last hit that. Or that. Or that, really. Like... Or this, it's going no matter what. Just because minions come in sometimes already injured from the previous wave, and if that happens, you're not going to be able to. It's harder to help your AD carry last hit under tower. So there are circumstances where you can, but there are also circumstances where you can't. Whoa, don't be jumping forward, bro. They still have Sona. They're still a lot stronger. Who's. You've got those? It's gross. He's getting too aggressive early on. I mean, this is not a winning lane for us. Blitz is actually very strong early game. Blitz is pr I mean, she's been played a lot in the LCS and such, but she's pretty good right now. Um, I don't know. In solo queue, I still prefer her. Her mid game's not that great. It's okay. Like, her early game's good and her late game's good, but, like, her mid game is suspect, I think. When everyone else has Infinity Edge and you just have Borg, I feel like that's a mismatch. Also, like, why am I not going up and hitting them? It's because I don't want to encourage Vayne to go up and all in again. We're gonna lose it. Sona's just too strong, like, in a lot of early, unless you have really hard engage. Like, if I hit a bubble on her, we can maybe kill her. Diana's around. Diana, come down here. My Damn it. Diane just can't close that gap, 3-6, that easily. I shouldn't have wasted my flash there. I did hit the bubble on the Sona, we just didn't have enough to convert. Yeah, 
Yep, there's the whole squad. We shouldn't have done it. Zane should have just run once they all showed up there. Like, rolling forward for the kill on Sona is not worth. Diana should have taken a safer way back into the jungle. Like, you know Eve... If Eve didn't show up there at the beginning of the fight, you know that she's on her way for the end of the fight, so... You can't just walk into your jungle and farm at that point if you're low. Yeah, making E apply Ardent would be nice. Yeah, go and Bork. Here we go. Bork's alright on Callista because you have to get it, but Vayne has a critical strike option that she should be getting. Like, you particularly don't need Bork in a lane where you have a heal. Like, we have a heal. Like, part of the benefit of Bork, and she has a door and shield, part of the benefit of Bork, if you're gonna get it, is you get that early game uh, lifesteal, right? So it helps you sustain your lane so you don't get pushed out against things like a Sona. But we already, we're dead, right? Keep her topped off in case Eve rolls up. You can't really ward for Eve until I get more control wards. You gotta get in there and ward her can Okay, she's top lane. Dangerous Zed could collapse on me if this is warded. I gotta watch bottom lane real carefully. No. Okay. That's about all I can do. And I need to ward here for Zed roaming. This will see if he roams river or if he roams bush. If I just ward here, it won't see if he comes up here. If I just ward here, it won't see if he goes this way. This is the best place to see if he goes anywhere. Thanks, Sean. Annie with Targon. It's <laughs> like question mark in it. Okay. Oh, I didn't even notice Chase's build. <laughs> that was nice. That was fun. I like that one.
him. Vayne could have dodged that, uh, that ult. If she would have rolled away from that ult, we would have killed him. Pretty sure. But that's alright. I'm probably gonna get Mikhail's first. I could either I could get Mikhail's or Redemption. I mean, Redemption, maybe Redemption would be better. Mikhail's is, can help her break out of a uh, Sona's thing, Sona's ult. But Redemption can heal through the damage that Sona would deal during that ult, and it has a bit more utility. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. God, this Eve is taught so much. Gotta be a little careful that said. That's why Nami's pretty good with uh with Vayne, because you can put the E on her and just no one's getting away. Mork does help Vayne reposition a lot, because you can steal their life speed. So if you're ahead or your life their move speed and life steal. Um so it does help her hunt people down if she's really far ahead. Which complements her normal uh, passive also, so. I mean, it works a lot better on Vayne than it is on Lucian and certainly like Ash or something like that, I think. Yeah, be careful of Zed. I mean, I don't know. I thought Zed could have gone all in and like forced me to exhaust or something, maybe, I don't know. Have exhaust. Look at that, there's Chase, nice. Down. We've been pushing a tower for so long, I just couldn't even really get ward. I need to go by soon. Or something going on here. Really 
want that gold. He's greedy. Go for redemption, been idle, more of these, and a couple of those, more of those. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> so we'll probably go, I don't know, we might go Athene's next. The cool thing about Forbidden Idol is it builds into basically everything. It doesn't build into Athene's actually, it would only be for Mikhail's or, um, oh, Ardent Sensor. I need to get Ardent Sensor. What do art next? The build path is just so nice for um, enchanters. I think I was in range to redemption that. I feel like he's not using his stuff. He needs to be using his, like, three-hit thing. I don't know why he's not using his three-hit thing. Can't he... I don't know how Jace works exactly, but I'm pretty sure he can, like, change forms or something and get three real quick hits, like, boom, boom, boom. That's how he takes towers and stuff very quickly. I don't know. Maybe he was saving it. Maybe it's part of some other cooldown I don't know about. What's up, Pearson? A bit late on that one, just wanted to make sure. Uh... Please.
It's true, it's true. Okay, so that's going to be it for the NAMI vid, finally. Got another good NAMI vid. I know we have NAMI fans out there. I'll be sure to release this soon. The stream's going to continue. But uh, thank you very much. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time.